There are seven Jedi chambers, and this is a 100% walkthrough of the Chamber of Detachment. I'm on Kobo near the Mountain Ascent Meditation Point. I'm going to head over to the Rumor on my map. The Rumor is going to be the Jedi Chamber. Of course, you can't do this early in the game because you need to be able to dash through those little green barriers. Now, there are six collectibles, so I'm going to, in addition to showing you how to complete the chamber, also show you where the seven or six collectible locations are located. Now, the entrance to this chamber is going to be behind the waterfall because video games have taught me that there's always something behind a waterfall. Now, the goal for this chamber is to climb up to the opposite side, and we're going to get the patient perk for completion of this. The perk is one of the six collectible types in here. But the first thing we're going to do is interact with this echo of the data bank. There are three of these. Next one is going to be to the right corner. And once we collect that, we're going to travel down this wall to the opposite side. Like the third one. boarded the first transport out. Nonsense. He would never. Wherever he is, we You see there is a little glowing data disk collectible up on that wall, which we'll get in a little bit. So here's the third one. After you get this, we're going to pull a large block out from the wall. This one right here. And yet, there's a unique piece to it. And then we're going to grab this item here. We're going to put it, complete the laser. And this little hole in the wall here, this little spinning opening. Well, let's go ahead and get the data disk now. Now, this little laser is going to fire off on and off. But what you need to do is use BD-1 to create a bridge to blow up this wall section here in order to drop the data disk. It'll fall to the ground. You just got to pick it up. Now, next collectible is actually going to be behind that next block over there. It's going to be a chest. First, it is a little barrier, so we're going to use BD-1 to create another explosive bridge. And then pull this block out. Now, this laser beam, of course, is going to go on and off. So you just got to time it, push, pull, set on a fire, and then return it to its original place. If we pull this block back out again, we can now loot the chest. Now, we're going to push both of these blocks over to the other end. As you can see, there's a pressure plate in the middle that will lower the platform so you can get the block on top of it. But we're going to pull out the second one and get the chest. Now it's just kind of like a game of putting the blocks in the right position. So I'm going to pull them back over towards the other side of the room. Checking my collectibles. Five of six. So the sixth one is going to be the reward at the end. So we're going to pull both of these blocks over and then we're going to line them up. Shouldn't be jumping on here. We need to pull the one in front back to the other side. I thought I can do it from up top, but you cannot. Okay, so now that that's in place, we are going to now pull the second one. Climb up top and get ready to jump to the front block. And then that's it. We're going to be at the end. We're going to pick up the patient perk. Again, this is one of seven of the Jedi Chambers. The first one is story related. And you will earn the Star Tours trophy upon completion of all seven. 